Today we're going to look at creating drop-down button behavior using RAD context menu. RAD context menu is part of the Tellerate RAD controls for Silverlight WPF control suite for .NET XAML development. In some scenarios, you need to have a button that displays additional options upon clicking. You can accomplish this very easily by using RAD context menu in Silverlight's powerful two-way binding mechanism. Let's go ahead and jump inside of Visual Studio 2010 and show you exactly how you may be able to do this. So here we are once again inside of Visual Studio 2010. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go File, New, Project. I'm going to select Telerik Silverlight, C Sharp RAD Control Silverlight Application, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to give this the name of RAD Context Menu. TTV drop down and press OK. Once I do that, the next screen is going to say it's going to be new Silverlight application. We're going to host the Silverlight application in a new website, and we're also going to be using Silverlight version 5 for this demo. If I go ahead and I scroll down just a little bit here, then you will see telerik.windows.controls.navigation. I'm aware that the RAD context menu lives inside of this control, but it's also dependent upon Telerik.windows.controls, which was checked automatically for us. Let's go ahead and let's select Finish and begin our Silverlight 5 project. So Silverlight 5 project has finished spinning up. The first thing that we're going to pay attention to is that underneath References, We've added Telerik.windows.controls and Telerik.windows.controls.navigation. Also, if I scroll over just a tad bit here and I expand this window, you'll see the Telerik XML namespace has been added for us as well. So now that we have our toggle button defined, let's go ahead and add our context menu. So we're going to begin again by typing in Telerik rad context menu dot context menu and from here we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in Telerik rad context menu and this time we'll go ahead and we'll give it a name of rad context menu and we're going to set the placement here to bottom and inside of this we're going to add just a couple of different items. So I'm going to begin by typing in Telerik rad menu item and I'm going to give this a header of item 1 and we'll just close out of this tag. So I've added one item I'm just going to go ahead and add two more. So I've added item 2 and I finally added item number Three. So as you see here, all we've added has been this toggle button. We've set a content. The horizontal alignment has been set to a left. From here, we've set our is checked to be binding to is opened on our element name of rad context menu, and the mode was set to two way. And we define our context menu here and gave it the name of rad context menu which matches our element name defined here. And the only other thing that we're going to add is to our grid here we're just going to go ahead and we're going to set the vertical alignment and the horizontal alignment to be center that way it will be centered on the page. So from here I believe we're ready to go ahead and run the application so we're just going to go ahead and start without debugging of course we have our toggle button here that has our click me content and I can select on that and we see we now have our items one two or three and of course you could add an event handler if you wanted here that would run code after the user selected any of these items so this would be great in any of the scenarios where you need a button that displays these additional options upon clicking. And you know maybe this is a place where you have limited space available on your screen. This would be a great 
place to use the RAD context menu and toggle button together. So again, thank you for watching and please tune in to tv.telerec.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerec.com for the latest news and announcements. Thank you.